Hey, 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 it's me again. I just finished twisting my hair. I had washed it and, well, I had brushed it out after I took it down. And I washed it, conditioned it, dried it, oiled it, moisturized it, and then I twisted it. And I'm gonna try to leave it alone. This is my hair journey. So this is my day one. I'm gonna put it on my calendar. I invite you to join me. I know many people feel like, I don't know what to do with my hair, I'm natural. Been there for years. I initially wanted to go natural back in 2000 when my sister was natural. She passed that year, but her hair was short. It was cute, it fit her face, it was beautiful. It took me many years later to do it. It started with me. How do I feel about my hair? How do I feel about my hair? I love it. But then I'll see somebody with big old pretty curls and soft hair, hair look like baby hair. And I would say, no, why didn't I get that kind of hair? It wasn't in my description. He gave me what he wanted me to have. So it was my job to love him, love me, and love what he blessed me with. My hair is a blessing. I've cut it completely off. Chop, chop more than once, a few times through the years. And it grows back and it grows thick. And I'm 52. And these baby hairs, while everyone is laying them, I'm leaving them alone. They there hanging out. You can call them baby hairs or call them grays. That's my crown. Yep, I'm not dying it anymore. Yes, I'm 52. And God is able. So this is a journey. I'm going to keep it tied up. So for that person who feels like, I don't know what to do with my hair, start out with a few twists. You'd be surprised. Once you twist it up, get him. It becomes your get up and go. Rock your fro. Get a good brush, some moisturizer, pick it out. Own it. That's what's important. Not how your hair looks, but how you feel about you. Your hair is not you. Your hair is your hair. Your mane. You can even wear a cap. You can get braids, cornrows, whatever. I have a daughter that has full-grown locks. But she goes and gets braids sewn in her hair while she's protecting her locks. That's an idea, but I ain't got money like that. And I have hot flashes, so I'm not going to be putting no extra hair on here. This is thick enough. It took me hours to do this. And this is not considered long at all, by far. Which is why I always cut it, because I get frustrated. But my channel, I invite you to join me. I want to encourage others to look in the mirror and look past what the mirror sees. Try to zone in on what's going on in here. Let's all try to help ourselves with what's going on. Life has dealt us many hands. And how we look at that. Are we judging ourselves? Are we judging others? Are we forgiving? Are we giving grace? Are we mindful that Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose again so each one of us could be saved? Each one of us. All have sinned and fallen short. Have you made some bad decisions in life? We all have. Sure we are. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. No matter how much money they have, how popular they are, no one is perfect. We have all fallen short of the glory of God. So my quest is to encourage you to look beyond what the mirror sees. And really love on that person that you see in that mirror. That's you. And for many of us, it could be the child version of ourselves because time might have stopped because of something that may have happened to us. Or it might have been a younger version of our adult self. Or it could be the older version. But my goal is to be a positive outlet. A lot of times we turn to YouTube when we're looking for something. I want to help those that are looking for just finding it's okay to be different. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to not understand. It's okay to need help. 
and I hope to encourage a lot of people in finding out resources that are out there. Um, I was watching a movie while I was finishing up my hair. It was Night School with Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. And I found myself, I really enjoyed it. I was thinking about, that's an avenue to help people. No, I don't have a master's degree. I have a bachelor's. But I know there's a lot of people that have had problems with the law or problems with their past or things that they may have experienced that has troubled them to the point that they may feel, oh, I'm not eligible for that. I don't have the skills for that. I don't have the training for that. But there are actual programs across the country to help us that many of us don't know about. So I definitely will be trying to plug in that kind of information too. Um, my role as a mom first is to be an encourager, a, a cheerleader for my team, my kids. But um, this, this channel is to encourage us all, even myself, even myself. Uh, my veterans, I'm a veteran. Uh, my Marylanders, my Floridians, my North Carolinians, people from all over. I'm related to so many people across the country. So if you happen to be related to me, hey family, we're all related by the blood of Jesus Christ. So I just wanted to share this to encourage you that this too shall pass. Commit that to memory. We go through some things. Sometimes it's health-wise. It could be on the job. It could be with our family. You never know. Remind yourself to remember those three words. This too shall pass. Actually, it's four. I don't know why I said three, but it's four. Those are some good, strong words to remember and commit to. So wherever you are, whether you're rich and wealthy, I'm not, definitely. That's not even a goal. My goal is heaven. But I want to do a good work while I'm here on earth to help others in any way I can. All right, it's been fun. It's been real. Hey, 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 I hope that you enjoyed this, this awakening in my spirit. God bless you all. Bye.